Looks good. Hi, I'm Travis. I'm Aaron. And we are our lively tribe. <laughs> that was good timing. I like that. <laughs> It's been so long. It's always so long. It is, but this day is a good day. It is a good day. We're standing in the J Flight renovation, and she is a hundred percent done going to her family today. Who are going to go take her on a really cool adventure? So yeah, this project has been pretty damn good. It's been the smoothest so far. Yeah. Uh, Knock on wood. Let's hope it. We're, it's still in our hands, so we don't. Want yeah, to we haven't that. handed it over yet. But That's Jessica true. and Matt and their four kids bought this RV with the intention to have us renovate it, and they brought it down. And they are going to part-time RV, so work, be home, and then in the off season from baseball, they're gonna travel. Your arm is shaking. Oh man. <laughs> it's been a while. We clearly old. need to do this more often so that your arm strength We definitely do. Up. Uh, so much has even happened since the last time we've done one of these. Yes. But I guess we don't have to touch on all that today. No, so we're gonna give you a tour. We are going to show you the reveal to the family at the end of this video, so keep watching till the end. I will link everything in this RV down below, so if you're looking for something, I will share with you where we got it. And, yay! Let's do it! Let's do it. Action. Let's do this. Let's start in the back room. Want to start back there and work our way this way? Sure. Let's do it this way, guys. I'm sweating, man. So, I'm standing in front of the best part. But uh, what was rad is that Jessica and Matt came to us with this rig that they bought because we had said this was such a great trailer. So it's pretty rad. They went out and hunted for one and knew what they wanted and found a Jayco that we love with four bunks that were already in it. So, uh, so yeah, we just got to kind of add to this space. We added the bed rails which gave it a ton of more support. This bed was really slagging right here. So we added all of that, the rails, and then what they had really wanted was four drawers for each of their kids to go with the beds. And um, we made it happen. So we were able to pull in a full dresser system for all the kids. But uh, these drawers are, are huge. I mean, we're, they're gonna have not, no need to put clothes anywhere else. And then we added a little storage on the bottom and a nice little cabinet up top where they can actually charge all of their devices, put their books at night, whatever the case is. So yeah, this room turned out rad and I can't wait to see the kids climbing up on these bunk rails and uh, and yeah, it's just such a- So that's not a bunk space. rail, that's a ladder. The uh, climb up on the ladder. You didn't say the word ladder, you called them bunk rails. Oh, bunk ladder rail system. So these bunks did not come with ladders or rails. No. So I guess every parent would just have to pick the kid up and toss them. And hope they don't fall out at night. Yeah. So, so we added those. Yeah. Bed rails and ladders are made out of metal. I was able to uh, to weld them together so they're super supportive and very structurally sound. Um, yeah. And they're awesome and I love them. And I love that our, uh, our friend Corey, Mr. Corey, uh, challenged me on a project for him. So you don't even know where they're mounted. That's how secretive these rails are. All right, moving out of the bunk room, uh, we turn and we look at the coffee bar that we put in. And what this was before was like a cabinet system that had space for a box television, because this is an 09 rig, so they were still older. None of it was actually functional then at all. Um, so we decided to put a coffee bar in it. And what this is hiding is all of the water heater um, and the actual heater. So for the most part, all of that under there is going to be not usable. But now they have extra counter space and we're able to add a cabinet above so that they can put their coffee and all of those extra things in there. Um, the outlets are already ready, so they're ready to go for as far as a coffee pot and all of that. So yeah, we took a space that wasn't functional for them and now it's completely functional. So we love putting in coffee bars. That's a huge thing for us. So, so we're glad they wanted that also. Now we'll move into the bathroom, which 
Uh, the shower, when I came up with the idea for the shower, Aaron's been pushing me as far as showers go, like, do something cool, do something. So, this is by far the coolest one I've done, and I'm super excited about it. So let's, uh, let's take a look at that. So we came in and actually gutted out this entire bathroom and rebuilt it. Um, the cabinets below had had some water damage to them and uh, so we decided to just let's rip it all out, rebuild it and make it even more functional than it was before. So I, I left or I added these three open shelves and it's a perfect space to slide towels in there, folded towels, anything. It's just completely usable and functional. Uh, Aaron added some and this is what will essentially be like a medicine cabinet for all of those things, your toothbrushes, anything like that. Um, she really challenged me with bringing home the biggest mirror she could find in the store <laughs> and saying we're putting that in the bathroom. Um, but with everything else, all that does is push me to, to try and find a way to make it work. So with this mirror, I was able to find the studs, locate them and add, it was metal. So I was able to weld on some brackets that mounted so this mirror is completely held up into studge, which is such a rad thing. So it's completely secure, even though with the size of it, it's gonna be totally great for them. Um, the shower was something that, uh, that I was just so excited when the idea came into my head as far as using the plywood and putting some tile in between. And I'm so, so stoked on how it turned out. Um, and as far as all of the plumbing goes, we I completely redid all of the plumbing. Um, so that it's no longer RV plumbing, it is now house plumbing. So stronger, safer, and you know, will last a lot longer. So very excited with how the bathroom turned out. All right, now we'll turn to the, uh, the dining area. <laughs> and uh, we're, we've really kind of figured out what we really like to do with this space. And we're so stoked with it because it's, one, it's very beautiful to me, and then it functions incredibly well compared to what trailers do have in them so we're very stoked with what we've come up with and uh we're able to add this ginormous drawer and this thing gives so much more space to their kitchen for storing uh you know just tons of things so we're so stoked on being able to add those to them all so in all of our rigs we've kind of had just regular knobs put on them and aaron came into this one and said I don't want knobs, let's figure out something else you can do. So with that, I was able to kind of just chop it away and, and make a perfectly flat little area so that, so no knobs are in the way. Kids aren't climbing over them and stepping on them like ours always do. So yeah, we were able to, to make it a uh, totally flush and perfect and it looks cool. So we can move on to the, um, let's move on to the other side of the bench. And we make it so that it can totally fold up, adds a ton of extra storage that, you know, does not exist in, in a regular dinette seating area in an RV. So this whole thing becomes functional storage. And then we were able, you know, the tables are my favorite part of all the trailers. Um, I love knowing that the families are going to go out and create these incredible memories and get to sit around a beautiful table that was built just for them. You know, I built this for Jessica and Matt and their four kids. Um, so all the sanding, I sanded this so many times, but all of that is well worth it when in the end uh, they have a beautiful table to sit at. So I'm very excited about the table. We've started, uh, again, I had Corey challenge the heck out of me. Um, and he said, you know, I don't want a table to, I don't want to put holes in my floor. So is there a way we can figure out how to build a table leg so that you're not drilling holes in the floor? And because of Corey, I was able to figure out a way to make that work. And um, this will be my third, third leg that's like this. And this one is by far the strongest and the best. And and I'm luckily the first two were for our friends, so we can fix <laughs> <Right>. theirs. <laughs> um, so yeah, so this table leg, you know, it's not in the way at all. It doesn't get in the way when you're sitting, and it, it totally functions so well. And it's, and uh, I love it. It looks like a floating table most of the time. So, so yeah, so we're super, super excited with the new, 
new ideas we're coming up with and new ways to, to push uh, the, our renovations to be more of one of a kind and also work even better than they did before. So now we'll move on to the couch area um, and uh, the best thing about these couches that we're now building is the stores that they give you. Like, I mean, you're able to put a child in there and we have. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, and, and you know, we're using, it's wider than a regular couch, but that's so that if they have someone come stay with them, they have a full length bed, a full bed that, that uh, grandma can come and stay on or anyone so so yeah we're super super pumped on how these have been turning out uh the drawers are getting even stronger and better and uh and yeah i'm just excited about about all of the things we're really starting to consistently put in our trailers to make them as good as they possibly can be well right around to the wall space and essentially what i did was just rebuild the wall that was there it was a, uh, I believe it was a door in the middle maybe and two small walls on the side uh, but the depth of the wall made it so that it didn't function at all. You know, it was just a flat surface. Um, so we kind of gave it, uh, we rebuilt it, and I built it with a support system so that they, they told us they'd wanted a barn door. So I rebuilt the wall so that it can structurally support the barn door. And in doing that, we were able to create, you know, a beautiful mantle. And, and they had specifically asked for coat hangers. So we were able to give them those things and then a centerpiece to the entire rig by putting a picture of their family in there. So we took a wall that, you know, wasn't functional or usable at all and turned it in so that it did have the ability to, to function in a way. Um, so yeah, and it looked good. And we made it look really <laughs> good. Erin came up with the idea with the, uh, with the wallpaper and it, once she put those in there, it really started bringing the whole trailer together. Um, those little touches are what really make them work and uh, we're so lucky i'm so lucky to have her to help with those things i mean i know i love the tables but the barn doors of the you know are one of the things that it mean so much um so when it comes to putting barn doors in these rigs you have to have a stud support so you you do have to rebuild the entire wall in order to make these rails function every one of these needs to be put into a stud the walls that exist those studs wouldn't even be strong enough to do that. So that's why rebuilding, if, if a barn door is desirable, you really have to rebuild the entire thing in order to make that work. Um, and they came to us and told us, we, we want a barn door. We want your barn door with the mountains on it. And I was so, so excited when this barn door came into my head with the idea of putting a border around it, not having it, you know, as similar as my other ones. Um, and creating a beautiful mountain scene for them. And I did, this is a recreated scene, but I love this scene so much and thought it would fit on this door, so I just kept it. Um, and we love them. They're so functional. You know, they have blocks so that it's not able to pop off and travel. It has a lock down on the bottom to keep it from moving. Well, my favorite piece in the entire rig was this little handle. Building that, I thought it was gonna look so cool and just pull the whole door together, and it did. And and uh, it's amazing. I never know when I build these trailers what's gonna be my favorite piece. And that little thing right there was my absolute favorite piece in the whole thing. So I'm really, really happy with this barn door. I think it's beautiful, and yeah, I hope they love it. How do you keep it from moving during travel? We put we lock it, which is so, so incredibly important. As simple as that, but that keeps it safe and uh, from ruining anything. From bouncing back and bouncing. forth during travel. Oh yeah, there it is. All right, now we'll move on to the kitchen area. And this kitchen space turned out amazing. It has so, so much counter space. Um, and I love, so I started using a new a new uh, polish on the on the wood and I really love how it turned out. It's waterproof and it still gives it the texture and feeling of wood without, you know, covering it with a bunch of poly and making it look shiny. So I am I'm in love with how this kitchen turned out. 
the sink's perfect. It's small enough, but big enough all at the same time. So this kitchen is so rad. Let's talk about the backsplash. So it's tile, real tile. Um, so Jessica and Matt actually picked out this tile and they decided that this was the one they wanted and they wanted it to go vertical. So in doing so, I raised it up a little higher than I usually do because I wanted to be able to fill it in. I didn't want it to be cut off halfway. So, but I ended up loving how that looked. I feel like it made the whole trailer a little taller, seem bigger, and wrap all the way around. And uh, the tile work is challenging as it used to be. It's starting to get easier and feel better. So I, I like, love doing it now. Um, so yeah, we're really stoked on how that turned out. Open shelf. Open shelf. This guy? All right. <clears throat> um, this space was, comp this space had a, a it must have had a cabinet above it. Yeah. This space had a cabinet above it that we took out and they wanted it to be more open. So I built this custom open shelf um, that we've put in Josh and Heidi's rig and we're starting to produce more of. And the great thing about doing a shelf that's shaped like this, designed like this, is you're able to identify the studs and make it fit to the shelf, which is super cool and important. So this is actually mounted in studs, so it's very strong. They'll be able to travel with things on it because of the rail. So uh, that shelf is, is rad and totally functional for them. Moving on to what ended up being such a fun and challenging project. They needed an extended countertop. And boy, did we deliver. <laughs> but what was really rad was figuring out the bracket system and, and how I was going to make it all work. I, uh, I wanted her to be able to stand and, and make it fold out and fold back in. And with doing so, putting this rail that folds down, um, she's able to do that. And I added some magnets down here so that when you fold it back down, the metal bar attaches to the magnets to keep it from swaying back and forth while they travel. Um, I'm very, very stoked on this piece and we will definitely continue to recreate them in, in our upcoming trailers for sure. <laughs> this is pretty simple. We turned the front bed like we always do, added huge, huge, huge drawers. Oh, we need to back in that one. We build and design in these things is, is literally built to fit the space it's in. Um, so this drawer just fits enough in here. <laughs> um, but it's plenty big enough for them. And uh, what else did we do to it? The light. We added this super cool light for reading. So they'll be able to do that. It was, uh, they probably had cabinets that were up here, I'm assuming. It's so funny, we do these things and I forget about them. Yep. Um, so that wire was coming out, it would have been running in cabinets. So we were able to add a light for them. And Matt uh, may or may not be working on the road, but they asked if we'd be able to put a desk in for them, like we'd done in one of our last rigs. And with that system that I'd come up with in the kitchen, I was able to turn that to a desk also. And... It's so, so cool. I'm, I love it so much. So it's really easy to operate, lift up, goes down to the magnets, stays there, and it looks really cool. So I'm stoked about it. Out of the closet. Yeah, we added this closet. You know, just enough room to hang up those things that they uh, don't want folded in their drawers. And we also added some cabinet space that they'll be able to, you know, maybe school books, because I know they'll be uh, doing homeschooling on the road. Laundry. Laundry, clothes, yeah, all sorts of stuff. tour we're done we're gonna photograph it and we're gonna drive it over to the campground and meet up with the family so next we will show you their reaction
right, so the family's here, they're outside. I'm gonna head out, they're gonna come in. My favorite part. We actually got one of our rigs back. They've been out for a year on the road. Oh wait, that didn't have title in it. Let's erase that. Go backwards. <laughs> now to the master bedroom where the magic happens. No, this is not MTV Cribs. Oh. Um, yeah, but we added each each drawer for both of them. Everything. Each drawer for both of them. Whatever. Two and, drawers for each of them. Yeah, and everything. <laughs> nice. I hope it's good. Oh. 